Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the structure of the form element. Now we have learned the syntax of this form element, right? So form element is nothing but we need to have two attributes. That is nothing but first one is the action or method. So these also has the default values which we have discussed. So action and the another one is method. So either it may be a get or post request default will be get request only the action if you don't mention means it will submit the form to the same document now in this form so in order to write the form controls all the form controls we will be adding in the form we already discussed right so these all form controls if you want to group it together so we have a separate special html element that is nothing but field set the field set element groups all the form controls that are present in the form so here how you will how you will define that one is field set so you will write the field set okay so whatever the form elements are there so it will be it will be added in this field set so what is the use of this field set is now field set has a another element inside the field set you will be having another element which which show which has the title of this form so if you want to mention the title of this form what is this exactly the form is if you want to mention the title of this form means you will be mentioning in the special element that is nothing but legend in this legend let's say that we are defining the contact form we are creating a contact form so like this we need to mention it now if you try to see this output if i try to open this one in the live server now here you will be able to see a box has been created because of the field set and the legend here it will show you the title of this form so this gives the correct semantical meaning that what is this exact form and and the title of this form okay so this is the one this is one concept you need to understand so field set is used whenever you want to group the similar form controls form controls means it, these are nothing but which takes the input from the user so if you want to group the similar form controls means we will be using this field set I will try to show you so let's say that we are having a contact form okay now here let's say we are having another one is nothing but i want to have a name so here you will be having something like input so we know that for taking the input value from the user so we will be having one element that is nothing but input element we will see different types of input input element present so first i am writing this input element here if you try to see here a box a input box which takes only the single value single line value it will take so if whatever you try to add it write it here it will take the single line only it will not take the double multi lines so here you will be able to see the input value so that means the default value for this one is a text box so this is called as a text box the default the default input element it will show it as a text box now here i want to show the name of this text box now here the user can write whatever he wants but we need but we need the user to write the sensible information so to read in, to write the correct information in this one so in order to write the correct information somehow he should be able to know what is this text box the label of this text box so here in this one so we have a another element that is nothing but label so this label will give you the information about this input form control so this comprise of this car this total is called as a form control now if you try to see here so here we will be able to see the name and here so now the user will understand that okay in this text box i need to write a, write the name so this is how we will be mentioning the form control now if you want to mention another form control means the same scenario you will use so label so this time i want to use the email so i want to take the email and you can write the input directly okay so this is another form control so these are all form controls grouping it is coming under one field set now if you try to see here we are able to see the name and the email now the scene the requirement is in a such a way that i don't i want this name and this email in a separate line so that means this email should not be beside this name it should come in a new line then what i need to do here the common thing is by default these are label and input elements these all are inline inline elements so these are display inline elements now what i will try to do is so for the time being i will try to block it in a paragraph element i will wrap it in a paragraph element so as we know that paragraph elements comes one by one down now let's try to see the output see so these two comes side by side so here name 
and the input box and email at the input box so this is the field set so you are having a form you will be having a form inside the form you will be having a field set so if you want to give the title for this form means you can give the legend 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 element can be used to give the title of this form and you will be having this input here, form controls so these are called as this set is called as one form control and this is an email form control and name form control now let's come to the field set again so now this field set has a group of form controls that is nothing but it has name and email now field set has some attributes first one is a disabled so if you write the disabled here for this field set automatically all the form controls that are present inside this field set it will be disabled see if you try to see here these are disabled directly and another field another field set you will another attribute you will be having is the name so if you want to give the name for this field set is so personal details what you can give the name 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 of this field set so that you can it can be used in the javascript api so these are the fields uh, these are the attributes you will be having for the field set so if you want to now normally we will be using this disabled attribute whenever you want to disable all the elements that are present in this form uh, in this pre field set means we can use this disabled attribute so this is one concept about this field set now let's say that we are having contact form right let's say that we are having personal details okay so these these take this will take the personal details okay so now we can have another field set inside this one in such a way that field set okay and here i will write the legend so in this one i will try to write address okay so i want to take the address so these all comes under the address now here i can write i can take this one and i can paste it here so this one i will write it as street lane one or something like this now if you try to see the output let's try to see the output now here we are having two field sets one one is grouped one uh, one form these form controls are grouped as personal details and another form controls like input box street lane one these all things are grouped in the address so these are different groups so like this if you want you can group the same similar input boxes or similar form controls in one field set and complete now if you try to do this disable here okay so if you try to see already the first field set is disabled okay Al already the first field set is disabled now if you try to see only the form controls that are present in the first field set only got disabled now this is not disabled right now if i want to so for example let's say that if i want to if i want to disable this one also so i can use this disabled attribute so i can use this disabled attribute i can remove this disabled so that if you try to see here only this one is disabled we can also if you want you can also have a total field set so you can have the total field set so something like field set okay so if you want like this field set and i can add a legend here so that it is contact form so total form is a contact form in that you will be having a subset something like personal details and address now if you try to make the disabled top so now we'll put, now i have removed these all the disabled so these are the two field set we are having inside inside the parent field set now if i try to keep disabled for this parent thing okay for the main thing i have kept the disabled now if you try to see all the child field sets also the form controls that are present in the child field set also got disabled so now if you have disabled if you have a disabled attribute in the parent field set all the elements that are present in the child field set whatever the things it will be disabled so if you want to add for only for a particular means so whatever whatever the form controls or field sets whatever the form controls that are present inside this field set it will be disabled so this is about the field set concept so field set what we will try to use is field set in order to group the semantically in order to group the same type of form controls if you want to uh, group it means you will be using this field set okay so that all the all the same type of form controls will be grouped into a field set and you can use different types of field set or otherwise you can use the nested field set also but it is not advisable something like to use this field set uh, nested like this it will create a confusion but i am trying to show you that this can be also possible so this is all about the field set concept in the next video what we'll try to do is we'll try to see this label concept what is this label okay so in how many ways we can use this label so why exactly this label will be useful let's try to see it in the next video hope you understood about this field set if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. 
And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.